Uh, I guess I'll start with either of you, but you guys were down three with the 112 to go and then play really well the rest of the way. What do you feel like went well for that last minute or so to, to get you guys over the hump? I think it's just us being us, man. I think that we look forward to the moments, you know, when it's crunch time and we come together and make big plays. It's exciting, especially here at Gainbridge. So um, I think we're just doing what we're accustomed to doing. We're building these habits early and just continue to flow with it. Well, how are you feeling at the end of the game, Miles, with the big block, a bunch of buckets go in, game-saving plays? How did, how did that all feel for you in this I mean, one? I feel great. It's another day at the office. I think I'm the best at what I do. You know, my team backed me at that, and, um, you know, we, we took care of business. Yesterday, you know, or Friday, excuse me, Rick was talking about how big the jump ball that Aaron Neesmith had was. There were a couple moments in this game that guided you guys down the stretch. How important are moments, especially in a home game, to, to propelling you to a win? Sorry, say that again. <laughs> no, no, I got you, I got you. <laughs> no, man, I think my that fault, my fault. <laughs> I think that it, it just all comes down to what we have in this locker room. It really does, man. I think Rick does a great job of, you know, being the head of the snake with this, but we have a group of guys that are, you know, ready to go to war every night. You know, we work on ourselves daily, and um, we built that chemistry so early, and it's a, it's a great thing to, uh, here down the stretch just be halfway through the season. So, you know, we just got to continue to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, Drew, it seems like you've been looking for your own shot a little bit more lately, or, or at least the ball's been finding you in shot opportunities more. Has that been sort of a point, point of emphasis to, to kind of look for more of those opportunities and get some more of those shots? Definitely. I think um, it's like coming in as a different role, playing off the ball. I'm trying to just find my balance of when to be aggressive, when to just understand when to make a play to kind of keep the ball moving. So uh, I think the last couple of games I've kind of found a little bit better balance for sure. Miles, to go back to the moments, how much did, I guess, each defensive play build on the other? I guess starting with Buddy's block going to yours, I mean, did, 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 was there sort of more momentum on sort of each defensive possession there? And, and, you know, how much did one spark the other? Absolutely. You know, momentum is a, <clears throat> is a key thing down the stretch. You know, when we're at home and we just hear the fans and how loud they get after you make play after play after play, it just all builds on each other, like you just said. And, um, you know, you got to get credit where credit's due for them. I mean, I think that just naturally amps us up and wants us to, uh, and it gets us to continue to keep getting them stops. Rick talked a lot about how uh, how much more sort of responsibility is on you with a smaller lineup. Uh, obviously, like you said, you feel like you're the best at what you do at being back there and being a rim protector, blocking shots. I mean, how has – do you feel like the rules changed? Has anything been sort of emphasized in any way? I mean, like what's, what is what is different for you or, or what I guess also allows you to stand out more uh, with a smaller lineup? Obviously, some guys are really good defenders, but ultimately just a group that is smaller. I think a big thing we talk about with the group is trust and just having to – letting them know that, you know, I have their back. And they got to trust that I'm there to have theirs. So – um, you know, and I think that's what it all comes down to. When we do go small ball and they do get beat, I'm there. That guy um, comes down and is able to crack my man. And it's just a, it's just a, it's a simplicity in our defensive principles. Um, you guys are midway through the season now, which is kind of crazy to think about. But um, I guess if you were to say one area where you'd really like to see this team still improve, what would that be? Um, well, give me a can to improve upon youth. I think that the biggest thing for us to do is just continue to bear down on the road. You know, I think um, a lot of these rookies, like, you know, Drew himself, I mean, haven't really experienced that rookie wall yet. And um, I think that that's something that can happen with a team when you have younger guys who are playing extended minutes, who haven't played that in the past, and um, continue to work on ourselves, work on our bodies. And if, we, if anything, I mean, just um, bearing down the road, I think that'd be a big thing for us. Miles, to build off that, let's go back. 23 wins in this midway point. What do you like most about what you've been able to do in such a short time? Um, you know, I speak on the chemistry a lot. I think that, you know, we've we've really been able to come together and just work and just put our heads down and work. You know, that's what we're about. That's what the city's about. And I think we represent that. And uh, take me to back to that block, that emotion that poured out of you afterward. What was racing to your mind at that moment? Um, night, night, <laughs> I guess. I was ready to go home. <laughs> At that point, you know, we got it done, and um, you know, I still got some. Wait, what time is it? Anybody? Eight o'clock. Still got the rest of my evening left. So, <laughs> wrong. <laughs> uh, Andrew, to to get sort of the flip side of, of what I asked him about about playing with a small lineup, how how much does how much does he help you guys as far as what you can trust? It's especially like you said, you know, being able to gamble a little bit more, you know, as somebody who's always, you know, taking one of the toughest perimeter <laughs> assignments. What, what has he meant for you as a rookie that's getting those kind of assignments, knowing he's back there behind you? 100%. He talked about the trust, and, and I think, like, having a small lineup where we could switch and get aggressive and just kind of try to make it tough on guys, knowing that when we get beat or if we give him a little edge that Ma's going to be there and weak side help's going to be there, I think it's huge for us. So um, that, and that's why I feel like I could be so aggressive on the ball. Miles, this team really struggled to close close games last year, and this year you guys win seemingly all of them. What do you feel like the biggest 
difference has been for you guys in these kind of games? Um, just trust, 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 trust. I'm telling you, man, there's just no, there's no ego in this locker room. Like, not at all. It's easy for, you know, us to try to fall into the hype. You know, a couple of individual players are making some great plays or playing well, then outside noise starts to creep in. I think that's the most toxic thing that can happen to a locker room. And I think that we've done a great job of nipping that in the butt early and just keeping our minds on the prize, you know, keeping our eyes on the prize at that. So just, uh, you know, just that overall, you know, the overall character we have on this team. Andrew, um, Miles spoke to the youth on this team. I've talked to Tyrese a lot about that too. Um, I guess, can you speak to Miles as a leader in this locker room and, and what has he meant to you being a rookie and being a part of this locker room? Uh, been super welcoming, super um, just understanding that he's he's the guy here, but he also allows us to kind of be ourselves and kind of grow um, and doesn't try to like take too much away from our games with, with his game. And I think um, when he talks about the trust, like I think our whole group has just understood to kind of think less about themselves and, and more about the group and, and give, give more. So I think the biggest thing he's done for me is just give for real. Uh... Okay. Right. Sweet.